What do you think, honey? It's good. It's really good. You got a whole stuff there for the attic? Arctic. Huh? Arctic. Arctic. Oh, yeah. Here's the garage, guys. Happy Friday, everybody. Well, I guess technically when you see this video, it's going to be Sunday, but either way, happy Friday, happy weekend. I hope you're doing well. I'm on the highway, so I can't look at you right now because I have to stay safe, but it's a new day. It's a beautiful day. It's been extremely cold outside, but today we're, it's 84 degrees, so, um, just left the dentist getting my teeth cleaned and headed to the house um, it's like my favorite thing to do every day is to go check on the house uh, headed to meet Mike at the house he should already be at the house uh, he was at work and then headed that way and then I'm leaving the dentist so um, I think we're going to go check on the house, give you guys some updates, and then probably go eat lunch together, talk about some things, uh, just spend some time together. You guys, my birthday's next week. Everybody keeps asking me what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to work. I remember the day, the side note, I remember the days when my birthday would come and I would celebrate all week. Now this was back in my clubbing days, my clubbing and drinking days. And I would celebrate the entire week, drinking and partying and clubbing. And then you get older and you get wiser and you have responsibilities. life changes and so now I will be at work I might go eat some dinner with my family that evening or that Saturday but outside of that my only focus right now is this house and some things we have coming up and Aislinn's birthday is literally seven days after mine. So, I have nothing planned and I have to get that together. Um, but yeah. So, that's just a little mini life update. Uh, welcome back to House of Roll. We're so glad you guys keep tuning in, rocking with us and staying with us with these updates. And it will not be long before we are in the house and you guys are going to walk with us through making it a home. And I'm really looking forward to that. I know Mike's looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, we would love for our new viewers to hit that subscribe button and of course for everybody to hit that like button and to leave us a comment uh, below and I will we will check in with you guys at the house uh, I went to the house yesterday I have to say this I went to the house yesterday and nobody was there it was just me and the house looks so beautiful like without the paint without the details without all the selections we've made without it just the way the light was coming in and like now you guys can clearly see like defined spaces and rooms it's so beautiful it's so beautiful so can't wait to show you guys when we get there see you in a minute show you the entirety of the 
front of the house because, again, they have our address plastered all over it. Sorry about that. That might be a little bit choppy, but uh, because I accidentally got the address. But what's it called? They added the stucco siding here. here and then up top and then let's see if I can get closer and then here and up here you get the gist of it now we're about to go in Oh yeah. There's the garage, guys. This retarded tub is still here, but. <laughs> what you think, honey? Nobody's here today, you guys, so we can talk to you guys the whole time. We don't have to mute it because of music. They were here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not. I could tell when I was here yesterday, like, it's still not sanded. Like, you can still see these corners. Spaces are defined. Yeah. Look at how, honey, can you stand right there again? Right here? So they can see how tall that door is. That's how tall the door is. And Mike, how tall are you, honey? Six. Yeah. The doors are eight foot. Walls. Man, it's just amazing how the guys are all the ceilings are just crazy to get to. I know, right? But there's just, I mean, not just money and taking, but more, more so the sheetrock. Hanging that sheetrock, yeah. Sheet That's what, when I was in here yesterday, I was like, wow. Like, they legit got up there and made it happen. And those sheetrock things are heavy.
Oh, the water's dancing. Yeah, but they have it marked. But if you look in there, um, okay. So originally, guys, they cut it to here, which this was not here. If you guys remember, I don't know why they have this here. This was not here. Now it is. But the superintendent said they just got to cut it out. So they had it to here, and then they took it up. But it's still not up. It's supposed to go up to that header. So, and they have, I did see yesterday, they have these lines, but that's still not where the header is. So, you know, I'm gonna stay on top of that to make sure it, it measures what it needs to measure. To the header. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the 610 was supposed, that's where it was supposed to be. All the way to the top? Yeah. Okay. Well, then. When I say 610, I mean six foot 10 inches, you guys. This from here, all the way up, is supposed to be six foot 10 inches. Yeah. And we got a fireplace. They don't have the the face of it on yet, but it's there. What you think, babe? Love you. In fact, if, if, if this feel feeling remains even after the furniture and everything is in there, love you. Well, that's why you don't put a lot of, you don't jam pack it with furniture. It requires furniture, but you don't jam pack it. To still keep that open, the open feeling you want. So if this is how much of the basement they did. And here's the bathroom. size tub. I'm so glad I caught this or it would have been a shower. It's not supposed to be a shower. These doorways are my favorite. And then if you're new here, these are the eight foot doors. Um, here is guest bedroom. Guest bedroom closet. Here is our little's room. The basement is still looking the same. We did, uh, yeah, you guys did see the insulation. After we closed out last week, we did have somebody come and give us a um, estimate on finishing the basement. We had the builder give us an estimate to do this ceiling, 
which I think we're still deciding, right, honey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See that we're doing the mechanical room mm -hmm. as well as the as well as the storage. storage. So to have the we got a quote to have the ceiling for the entire basement, including the storage room and the mechanical room. Cause you know how some people will get a storage room and then like kind of leave it, not all the way bare bones like this, but pretty much bare bones. Like do minimal work in here, but we would like to sheet rock it and get it um, looking like a room. Toilet. Yeah, that's the toilet. And the shower is supposed to go with, right? Right here. Right there. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be a drainage. Yep. And then the vanity right here. So this is supposed to be a door right here or something? Mm-mm. Just an open shower? You, well, it depends on what you want to do. If you do like how we have in our shower upstairs, mm -hmm. then it would just be a glass door. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking we could put a tub here. Decided. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking whether or not it would be easy just for them to go ahead and plumb that baby before I put it in there. And then, this, then just the sheet walk is always that concern myself with the vanity. You know, but to be discussed. Yeah. Well, and I'm thinking if we paid for plumbing, full plumbing down here, we need to have our hot and cold line okay. for this. So yeah, we just caught that. I just thought about that. I thought about it when I came here. I'm like, I don't see any hot and cold lines. Yeah. And where's the hot and cold line for that? For this over here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna have to be addressed. to the um we didn't stop by the office here's where the double oven will go and the refrigerator and the floating shelves and the that situation the i don't know if i showed you guys the laundry room oh and these are the corners that we picked they're not flat they're like I mean they're not pointed they're flat that's what I meant to say here's the half bathroom and the office That's what I said. Ooh, I like that. There's like a little lip of a shelf. What do you say? Probably about three inches. Yeah, probably about three inches. That'll be nice. Really nice.
garage it looks so good okay guys we're about to go venture around honey are we getting food yeah. okay so we'll see you guys when we get food unless we see something we want to show you but see you guys in a minute I forgot this is what the side of the house is looking like from the the windows right here Forty-six in the evening and I just drove by the house uh, just to take a look really quick um, earlier me and Mike didn't get to close out because uh, after we ate I had to rush to go get our little one from school and so we didn't get to close out and now he's at work again and I'm out running some errands so um yeah so i'm gonna close this vlog out by myself we thank you guys for following along and we hope to see you in the next video until next time peace out